Well, we moved 20 miles south. The little island bathhouse. Sand bridge. They've been here in a year, maybe. Stand by. I can't quite figure that guy out. Stand by. Well, the first target is two foot deep. Shell casing. He's got GoPros on there. Yeah. He's taking pictures of the waves. I said, I was trying to figure what you was doing with that thing. Mm -hmm. You put them on YouTube? Or just put them on there for yourself? Yeah, you're doing video right now, you're taking pictures? Yeah, video. What'd you do with yours? Huh? What'd you do with yours? Greg. Greg? Greg, D-R-A-Y. Oh. And my channel is Ray Washington, so you can link me. Here. Ray Washington? D-R-A-Y Washington. Okay, I'll see you. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's a small school of dolphin right there. See them right there? Two little pods of them. Naturally, they've gone under now when I get the camera on. They're feeding on something. Offshore there, we got a bunch of Menhaden boats with purse seines, purse nets, he was an airplane. You can see the airplane right there. He's a spotter. He spots the fish. And these guys have these big nets like they use on the West Coast. Circle them up. Close the bottom up like a cup and pump them out with a pump. Manhaden. There they are. See him? They're just having a good time. Mostly private residences, but right here at the end, there's a big condominium complex. Been here, I don't know, 10 years maybe. Eight or 10 years. We're hunting right along the edge of this cut, finding bullet casings, lots of copper pieces. That's about it. Got a target right there. Must be a bottle cap over here. Stand by. If you remember back a month or so ago, when Doug was hunting with us, Doug's from Reedville, Virginia. Well, back in the 20s and 30s, Reedville, Virginia was the capital for the Manhattan fleet on the East Coast. They used boats like this, but in those days, of course, they're all wood, no refrigeration. Nowadays, they use the same basic concept, net-wise. It's more sophisticated, and they don't use these airplanes. Today, we have two. I didn't see the second one until just a minute ago. There's one right there, and there's the other one right there. You should be able to see them. One right there, one right there. And of course, like I said, they radio these guys and they set the net right, they circle the net up perfect. They have a, you know, the airplane tells them which way to go, left or right, to make the circle. Highly sophisticated fishing. And it produces, they get paid, they don't get paid by the pound, they get paid by the millions, the millions of pounds that they catch. It's astronomical what they catch from Menhaden. They make sushi out of them, crab legs and oil and Menhaden and all kinds of protein for dogs and cats. It's a big business. Uh, Zapata Haney used to be one of the names. Now I think it's called uh, uh, it's a big company based out of Louisiana. Zapata. Yep, Zapata is what it's called. You can look it up if you're interested in it. Stand by. I have nothing else to do. Except dig, look at this and dig some copper so far. As Mel Fisher said though, the next 10 feet, 
might be it. I got a big daddy one this time. I've been finding little ones. 50 caliber. Two miles deep. Right from that four inch hole came a button. I wasn't expecting any buttons. However, it's a modern button. Look at that thing. Beautiful. <laughs> as far as button goes, it's a nice button, but it's a piece of crap button. Stand by. Well, we're bound out of this hot goose. We got to go to the other side of the pier to get back to our truck. We're going someplace else. I just don't know where that's going to be. It's a beautiful day, though. It's a fisherman. Well, we're headed to the bay. Give the bay a quick spin. Then he just checked the temperature on his phone. It's 74. I don't know if that's going to set a record or not for December the 1st, but I can tell you it's really nice. 74. Stand by. See some cuts along here. Some Bowsers. Oh, we... Yeah. Two coal ships. Look. That's a garret, Yeah, somebody's spinning already down here today. She got the scoop. Somebody down here with an ace. Stand by. As far as the eye can see, cuts. God damn. I didn't know this was here. You better be careful. A Chinaman will come out of there in a minute. Huh? You better be careful. A Chinaman might come out of there. <laughs> I got me a couple sinkers already. I have two. And a dime. This is a 1207 down that, that far. That's a sinker too. I got one right here. 1208. I guarantee it's a sinker. Uh the juice pack. Oh, you got a beer can. Let's see what mine is. I don't hear it, so it must not be no sinker. Some kind of piece of crap thing. The sinkers I got, most of them sound like pennies. Whatever this is, fall through the scoop. It's fell through twice now. You know the rules. If it falls through twice, I'm moving on. <laughs> We're on our way home to Guru Calls. So come out here and look at what I found today on the bay. Yeah, I took it. I guess they pissed around with it. He's having a light problem. Yep, this is the one that fell out. <laughs> Stand by. At least eight bucks. Yeah, but you'd have a hard time selling unless you had a fishing bay you'd give them to. Unless you had a flea market. Now, a flea market, they'd sell a flea market. That's stainless, isn't it? Aluminum, I think. Polished aluminum. Oh, it's ain't no 29 movie. pounds. Looks like a jack crane. I mean, a. Uh, Looks like it hinges apart right here, you know? Part of a pulley or something, maybe. I thought it was a damn boat. You got no numbers or no name or nothing on it? Yeah, it's got a number on it. Uh, it's a little dark. I think out. it hangs just like that. Did you scrape a file on it and see what it looked like underneath? Oh, there's the numbers right there. You know why it's better than mine? No, I can't see it. It's half dark now, anyway. Like casting, yeah. We got on the beach and it was God. copper. Try pick it up. No, it ain't copper. I don't think it's copper. No, it ain't. I think it might lighter. be stainless. It looks stainless on yeah. the outside, and this has got it's plated. Uh, you know, I don't think it's got no aluminum in it. It's too heavy. Yet. I wonder if it's worth something. Looks like it. Yeah, you know, looks like a scrap. 
Sure. Well, scrap is probably worth what? I don't know. I have no idea. It depends what it is, I guess. Uh, what Same is scrap now? Roundup. The first spin didn't produce much but brass. Pull tabs. The second spin produced two quarters, three dimes, a nickel, a few pennies. All that gray matter. Some odds and ends. But I did find that weird button at the first place. <laughs> that modern button. Okay. Well, I think we're going back to right there tomorrow. I think Denny and the Guru may go kind of early. I got a honey duty to do in the morning, so I can't get there when I want to. Not that it's tide related at all, because it's up pretty high right in that cut. We'll see you tomorrow someplace. Good luck to everybody. You remember those boats that we saw today fishing, those Menhaden boats? I, uh, I'll add a picture of one of them up close so you'll know what it looks like, for just for shits and giggles. Menhaden. Bunkers, we call them. Big money. See ya.